All right, so the Michigan team you're preparing for now, you see anything different in them from the last Michigan team you played a couple weeks ago? Um, you know, obviously they got like the same uh, same player, same system and stuff like that. We just got to come out and just do our part. Um, you know, sometimes we let Purdue be Purdue. Um, and if we don't allow that to happen uh, tomorrow's game, mm -hmm. then I feel like we have a, a good chance and good, uh, good shot for winning. Is there something when you look back at these last three games where you say we have to do this better? What would it be? Um, you know, we just gotta stop putting ourselves in the hole, like that yeah. hole, and then we always fight back. I feel like we just gotta come out from the jump and have that same energy. For somehow we gotta just lock in and have that same energy that we had for the last ten minutes of a game, fighting back into a game. Cause th that energy, that team is like an mm -hmm. unbeatable team. So I feel like if we do that from the jump, we'll be fine. Is there anything that leads to that? I mean, have you been able to diagnose anything mm -hmm. that explains why? Uh, I just gotta be a, a, a vocal leader. Just come out early talking and before anything get too out of hand, bring them all in, you mm -hmm. know, tell them, okay, here's what we got to do. Let's lock in and do that right now. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like we have more of that. We got people that listen. We got people that feed off energy. So I feel like they'll, they'll do so. One area where the energy has been pretty apparent is the guards attacking off the dribble. Mm -hmm. You were a big part of that um, in the last game. Where does, where does that come from? Is that a situation where you have to kind of pick your spots, mm -hmm. you know, pretty wisely or how do you kind of make that decision when you're dribbling the ball? Before? Um, you know, because if I, if I uh, downhill, it opens up a lot more for our team. Right. Uh, allows shooters to get open, allows shooters to shoot uh, without being contested. Um, just allow the offense to be more fluent. So uh, what I'm just going to do is try to be more aggressive, get downhill to the rim. And until they stop it, then, hey, I'm just going to fire my shooters because they help. Then, we got some shooters. We just got to continue to get open shots and not get tested shots. Right, right. You've obviously dealt with this Michigan offense a, a bunch. I guess what, what impresses you about them? And, and um, really, they could just switch it up. You know, they can run all, you can watch all that film of offense, but at the end of the day, they could just do pick and roll, and they could be effective for that team. So um, that's just something we just got to come out here and just compete and just battle. When things aren't necessarily going going well for you guys, do you see the, the sort of comp competitiveness you want to see? Do you see it bothering people? You, you see what you need to see to know that you can kind of get out of this? And um, for sure. Um, you know, we got to, people that like to lose, yeah. and we got a, a group of guys that hate to lose. Um, we just got to, you know, just continue this to fight, mm -hmm. uh, know what our end goal is, um, and keep fighting for that end goal. So when that end goal approaches and happens, um, we're ready for it.